So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. And today I will show you how to import a digital elevation map, digital elevation data in Google Earth Engine. Uh, so let's get started. So uh, in this video, we have show, going to show how to import a digital elevation model data into Google Earth Engine. So to first to load a country's data, we're going to uh, define a variable called countries. So double E dot feature collection. So double E dot feature collection generally referring to the database we already have shown you. Let me show you once again in my previous video. So that is refers to the United States of Department of States. So this is the database and uh, this LSIB that refers to the large scale international boundary polygons. So now I am referring a we are uh, created a variable called countries and importing a collection from the United States of Department of uh, State with the large scale, large, uh, large scale international boundary polygon. So again, again, we are defining another variable called variable Ethiopia is equal to country. We have filter dot filter. So referring uh, variable uh, Ethiopia country and filtering a particular country called Ethiopia. So in this way, we are just referring the database for this part using the United States Department of State and filtering by a particular country called Ethiopia. So in the next case, we are going to see how to import a digital elevation model data into a Google Earth Engine. So for that, we are defining a variable called dem and e dot image that is referring to the United States of uh, United States. And SRTM that is uh, SRTM DEM data that is a DEM data so that is referring to SRTM DEM and uh, so here for this particular code we are uh, is used to uh, used to import a DEM uh, DEM into Google Earth Engine so we are using variable called DEM double e dot image the referring to the database of USGS of SRTM DEM so next is uh, we're going to set the visualization parameter. So to set a visualization parameter, we're going to define a variable called variable visual parameter is equal to a curly bracket. So we are setting a minimum of zero and a maximum of 4,000. Uh, generally, the elevation data has a different elevations. So we are setting a minimum elevation value of zero and to a maximum elevation value of around 4,000. And similarly, to define the color palette, that is the the color ramp, color ramps for the map, we are defining the palettes is equal to into a we are defining a five different colors. Now let me show you. So you can see that from this website you can uh, refer a variety of color uh, palettes. So here let me choose this color one, this color. So here this particular color has this uh, sequence of number to define this value, this color. And similarly, this set of uh, value, that is uh, this set of number, which this code refers to this particular value, color called blue. So let me choose another color. So here, this uh, the red color has a color palette value of F03B20. So in this way, I have chosen a set of color palettes for my dim data. So this will set our this will set our visualization parameter. So now finally, to uh, how to display this data? To display this data, we are using a map dot add layer. So we can add layer into our Google Earth engine using the dem dot clip Ethiopia. That refers the dem refers to global data. So I need only Ethiopia. So clip Ethiopia. So next is the uh, update mask dim gt0. So suppose if you are not using this particular function, it may it causes an uh, except the particular country called this country, all other areas will be in black, uh, it will be in kind of a black color. So to avoid that, we are using this particular function update mask. And after we have a visualization parameter referring to this one and dim. Last, we are using uh, map dot center object Ethiopia 6. So, to center the object as well as to zoom 
uh, zoom to the Ethiopia at the uh, zoom level of 6. So this particular uh, is useful. It automatically zooms to the particular study area with a zoom level of 6. So now let us uh, run this script. So now let me uh, go to the section called run script. So once again, uh, let me remove this. So now uh, let me run the script, go to the option called run script, click this. So now you can able to see that we have uh, imported a digital elevation data that is SRTM data, uh, SRTM data into Google Earth Engine. So this is our this is our color palette for the dim data we have used using this sequence of color color palettes. So you can also use different color palettes using the we are going to this website Color Brewer. So you can select uh, any color you want and uh, you can copy this value into Google Earth Engine. So you can have that uh, this, you can have a different colors. So you can also turn off, uh, going to the option called layers, you can turn off the temp and turn on the temp. So similarly, suppose you want to import a digital elevation more data of another country. So you can use a similar, use this code. So I have changed from, I have used another country called India. So they're going to import a digital, a digital elevation data of India into Google Earth Engine. So I've specified India. So uh, let me run this. Go to this option called run script, click that. So you can clear you can now clearly see that we have imported uh, so you can see that we have uh, imported a digital elevation model for uh, India for as it is of SRTM then so similarly you can import uh, digital elevation data for any countries using the script so in this script I have shown you uh, how to import a digital elevation data and set a visualization parameter and how to display the data Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and make sure that you give us a like.